show you how to touch up your knotless braids for the free at home by yourself DIY so you can save your little coins y'all I know y'all see that left side and then you see the after okay let's get into it hey bookies so I have my braids in y'all I did my braids on December 7th it is December 30 30th no, today's the 31st. Tomorrow's New Year's? Wow. It'll be a month next week, but I promise you my braids look two months old and I don't know what the hell I'll be doing, but um, I'll just be out here doing stuff, okay? Okay. Okay, I wouldn't say two months. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not too bad, right? I mean, new growth is pretty bad, but you know. For the most part, it's not it's not that bad. I'm gonna show you guys how to get this new growth from this to looking really fresh. Um, okay, our products are gonna be some water with leave-in conditioner. Well, I'm gonna use two oils of my choice. Then I have this braid gel for you know the edges my tools an edge brush and a red tail comb rubber bands and at the end dry shampoo this just smells really good one more tool you're going to use is your double-sided brush so i have washed and deep conditioned my scalp to get one more full week or one month worth of these braids i'm gonna show you how to finesse so i'd like to spray My hair is already pretty damp. So this is going to be my part. I'm going to have these going to this side and then these going like this. So I'm going in with the Mio Organic Rosemary and Mint Oil because my scalp is always dry. And then I'm going to take my section and work on the first braid and grab my gel and put it on the perimeter where it's all fuzzy and just lay that on there then i'm gonna go ahead and grab my edge brush and or the rat tail comb as you can see and clean up the parts and once i grab my edge brush i'm just gonna be combing it all to the center of the braid making it nice and sleek psa this is really effective for my workout girlies okay once the hair is all nice and sleek, I'm going to go ahead and twist my braid maybe about twice. It depends, two to three times, depending on like how much new growth you have. And then I go in and gently add a rubber band, making it tight, but not too tight. I wrap at least three to four times, depending on the tension. And I make sure that it feels comfortable and that it's not too tight or painful. So it feels perfect. So I am going to go in and show you this step probably about six more times. Um, it's pretty simple. It just takes some practice. Um, you don't have to do everything that I do, but whatever works for your hair. Because everybody's hair texture is different. You may not need to use a gel that is as strong as what i'm using but it works really good for my hair texture and you know you may not need rubber bands some people use like the ducktails i believe that's what it's called the ducktail clips the smaller ones like as if you're doing locks and they'll put that at the root and then like set it with a scarf and then they'll remove the clips so they don't have to like use the rubber bands so there's pretty you have different options you just choose what works best for you but i feel like the rubber bands is the quickest and it also blends in with my hair you don't really see that it's there unless you're like nosy and just looking i know i know i know that you're drunk yeah. tell me what you want out of the you know you're nasty, you know you're nasty. Oh.
before I did pretty much the first whole row. You can see the differences compared to. Damn! Oh, but I'm gonna be wearing it down to the side. So, good morning, you guys. It is the next morning. Um, I already took my scarf off. What do you guys think? Honestly, this is low key the final result. I just have to do my edges, which I won't take too seriously because again, this is an old hairstyle. I really don't care like that. So I'm just gonna slap some aloe, which is not really gonna lay my edges down like that, but slap that on there and start, you know, just making it look a little bit more sleek. And honestly, nobody's really gonna see this side anyway, so I'll just be doing extra stuff, whatever. This is how it looks. I will say, don't wash your hair at night. Just because when it's wet, the smell is, um, y'all know how y'all wash clothes and when you leave them in there for a long time, they start to stink. My hair don't stink. It's just, I need to let it dry fully because it's less than 10 hours ago. So yeah, it just needs to dry fully to be honest. So I'm just going to add some more mousse at the root. My flyaways, y'all can see, is already like really laid down, but I'm adding more mousse. I'm just going to blow dry the top and put the scarf back on for about 10 more minutes before I leave the house so that everything can be set. And then I'm going to go in for some more aroma like I did last night. My Rose Bloom by Dove. It just really eats with the smell. It really eats. Got me smelling like perfume. I don't know. For this, I'm going to blow dry it a little bit. And that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. The sun is shining. It's a new day.